The movie begins in a bleak post-apocalyptic world. Only a small area flourishes with life within a glass building. There is a prominent sign that reads, no trespassing allowed. A lone scavenger tries to enter the area, but suddenly gets shot in the head. After this, we see three girls, B, her sister Evie, and B's daughter Daisy. They carefully search for valuables on the scavenger's lifeless body. Since they're outside in the wild, they wear protective masks to shield themselves from the toxic air. They harvest the scavenger's organs before laying him to rest in a shallow grave. Inside the glass building, the girls reunite with their brother, Gabe, who is unprotected from the poisonous atmosphere outside, known as the Shred. It turns out that Gabe has been a victim of the Shred since a young age. He has lost his memory and struggles to perform basic tasks. He can't read properly or even go to the toilet at night. The family huddles around their mother, the protector, who gives them strict instructions on how to deal with outsiders who dare to trespass on their area. Daisy yearns to see an animal and misses her Uncle Luca because he always tells her stories about animals in the wild. Unfortunately, Luca left the sanctuary some time ago and never came back. The family's survival depends on some rituals to sustain their plants and trees, which give them a fresh supply of oxygen. As part of this grim ceremony, they bury the organs of the unfortunate trespassers in the soil, making a sacrifice to keep themselves alive. In the next scene, B stands guard, armed with a rifle and spots yet another stranger approaching. This newcomer, without a gas mask, collapses near the glass building. B decides to bring him inside because she hopes he might know something important about Luca. However, the family isn't allowed to bring trespassers inside, so B's actions are strictly against the rules. When Evie sees that B has brought a stranger inside, she gets angry and warns her about the consequences. The two girls bring the stranger to their mother who is angry at first. However, she gives in and decides to help the stranger because he's already inside. The mother teaches the girls how to stitch a wound as she patches the stranger's leg. Then she ties his ankle to Gabe's for the night. In the morning, Gabe wakes up confused and wets his bed. The girls wake up and go clean up their sheets. B is super condescending about cleaning after Gabe each time. However, Evie stays and helps to wash her brother's private parts. Then the girls change the stranger's bandages and B starts getting very touchy with him. She asks Evie to go fetch some water while she stays and shaves the stranger's beard, who is only pretending to be unconscious. All of a sudden, he opens his eyes and B warns him not to try anything with her. The family gathers as the mother starts interrogating the stranger who can't even remember his name. He knows that he came from the city to the east, but says that there is no place in there like this. He asks if they will let him go, but his mother says that he might forget all the kindness they've given him and put their safety at risk. So she decides that he will stay inside and be put to work like everyone else. A few hours later, Daisy asks the stranger if he has ever seen a kangaroo or a sheep in his travels. Unfortunately, he replies that a kangaroo would be very hungry before it got here because this is the only area with a patch of green in a three-day walk. After some time, the mother tells Daisy to take Cave and put up a special warning outside for other trespassers. She asks them to use the body of an old one as a warning. The kids get to work as they cut the last intruder limb by limb. Meanwhile, B goes and flirts with the stranger by giving him a plate of all the fruits they grow so he can pick whatever he wants to eat. Evie enters the room as well, but B is trying very hard to get Evie to leave so she can have her private time with the stranger. Later that night, Evie warns B not to trust the stranger so quickly, but B argues that she feels like she already knows him more than enough. Since Daisy is still missing her uncle Luca, she starts sharing her dreams of animals with the stranger. To make his place in the family, he offers to craft a horse for her, but only if she can bring him a knife. She quickly runs to the garden and steals a knife from her sister's basket before anyone can see her. The stranger starts carving a horse secretly, but Gabe spots him and comes closer. He shows Gabe how the pieces connect and gives it to him to try. However, Gabe struggles with basic tasks, and when he can't even connect the pieces of the horse, he gets very upset. He starts breaking and trashing everything around him. The family rushes in to calm him down, but they can't control him as Gabe goes completely out of control and hits B. Seeing this, Daisy decides to unlock the chains to the stranger's ankle who goes to help and restrain Gabe. 
They eventually calm him down and defuse the situation. Since the stranger has helped the family, the mother decides to let him walk freely. Later in the night, the stranger sneaks up behind B. They stand by the mirror, and she calls him Luca before he corrects her and tells her that he can't be him because he doesn't feel for her the way a brother should. She says that means he is Luca. The next day, the stranger, B, and Daisy work in the garden when he goes to fetch a brush from the seed shed and sees Evie in there. He tries to have a friendly conversation with her and asks her about her memory box, a game she used to play with her brother Luca. However, Evie does not trust the stranger and gets angry because he's trying to replace Luca by being around B and Daisy. After this, the mother confronts the stranger in private and tells him that everyone has a role to play here. She suggests that the stranger's true role might be to impregnate B. Later, B is on guard duty alongside the stranger when she spots someone approaching from the bushes. She aims to shoot, but the stranger starts distracting her by touching her sensually. He takes his hand up her skirt, but she still manages to take the shot and kills the trespasser. Later, the girls get together and disembody the trespasser's organs. After some time, Evie stumbles upon B and the stranger having intercourse in the garden. She suddenly remembers seeing the same image before but with Luca instead of the stranger. This shakes her to the core, making her question the distorted reality in which the family exists. She runs away just as the stranger spots her. She goes back to work in the garden when the stranger approaches her and asks if she likes watching them. This prompts Evie to throw a tool at him before telling him that his tricks might work on B, but not her because B wants Luca back too badly to see the truth. She warns him to stop manipulating B as her mind is fragile and leaves. Later, the stranger sits down and uncovers Evie's memory box under the dirt. He sees Luca's letter necklace and decides to steal it. Later, the family gathers for their daily ritual, but Evie interrupts and says that the ritual is sacred and that the stranger doesn't belong there. B protests, saying Evie is the only one disrupting the ritual. Since the stranger is a liar and a cheat, he takes out Luca's necklace and says that he always kept it safe. Evie protests by saying that he's using their memories against them and is trying to replace Luca. Daisy intervenes and says that they should just let him be Luca from now on. But Evie says that they all live in a fantasy, and if she lets this go, then they all will die. The mother finally speaks up and says she expected more from B as the eldest but her feelings for Luca have betrayed her. B, in return, throws the blame back on Evie for spying on her with Luca in the past and being irresponsible for not watching over Gabe, which led to him being exposed to the shred. This makes Evie storm out of the room. Later, she joins her mother in her bedroom and confesses that she's angry because she feels like she's the only one who still cares about the truth. Her mother tells her to put her trust in her, as she has always kept the family safe and will continue to do so. She also reveals that once the child is born, Luca will be gone like he's always been. That night, everyone in the sanctuary is wide awake and listening uncomfortably to the creaking sounds of the bed as B has an intimate moment with fake Luca. A few days pass by and B visits her mother's room. The mother tells her that she needs to keep herself safe from the shred because it's important for the baby growing inside her. She also says that the leaves are giving them fresh air to breathe, but more sacrifices are needed because the plants aren't making enough oxygen to sustain that many people. Finally, the mother warns B that she's had her fun and now it's time to choose between fake Luca and the newborn baby. B starts crying and screaming that she can't choose, and all this chaos makes Gabe run outside in fear and without any protective gear. Fake Luca quickly helps Evie and carries Gabe back inside. B enters and tells Fake Luca to join her for sentry duty where she tells him everything that her mother said earlier. She suggests that they run away together, but Fake Luca doesn't respond. Meanwhile, Gabe climbs into Evie's bed and starts humping her. She wakes up and stops him, but lends him a hand so he can be satisfied. Later, Gabe and the stranger are working inside when the stranger deliberately tells him that Evie's affection for him is only out of pity. This makes Gabe angry, and he throws a plank which breaks the window. They quickly seal the hole, so no real harm is done. Later, the stranger sits down with the mother and tells her that Gabe is a threat to everyone, so he might be better suited outside now that there's another child on the way who can take his place. However, the mother has already made up her mind and tells the stranger that it's time for him to go. 
After this, he goes to B, who is taking a shower together with the other girls. She asks him to stay as they are all family here, but he declines, saying it's his time for sentry duty. Taking the opportunity, he goes to the mother and strangles her as she calls him an actor. As she falls unconscious, he hits her on the head, killing her. He plants her dead body next to Gabe and cuts his restraints, making it look like Gabe killed her. He lashes out at the stranger as the girls wake up and storm the room, finding their mother dead, with the only evidence pointing to Gabe. As the girls mourn over their dead mother in the other room, the stranger restrains Gabe and opens the window. The stranger confesses that after watching his parents and sister get exposed to the shred, he decided to take off his mask and forget as well, but the toxin never affected him. After making Gabe forget everything that happened, he closes the window. Meanwhile, B looks at the memory box in the other room and has a sudden burst of memories. She remembers a day when she was on sentry duty and an intruder appeared. She signaled to see if it was Luca or not, but when she saw the person reaching for something, she shot him dead. Then, it is revealed that the person she killed was, in fact, Luca who was trying to grab his flashlight to signal back. She took off her mask in grief and anger and buried the body outside, which she dug up and saw in the present. It is also revealed that Evie knew and kept her secret all these years, making B believe that Luca was alive. Grief-stricken, B wants to go back out there and forget everything, but Evie tries to stop her. The stranger appears and helps stop B. Eventually, B exits out anyway, with the stranger telling Evie to let her go. They go back to Gabe, who is completely gone at this point and unresponsive. B comes back cheerful and as if nothing ever happened. Evie says the shred is taking them all and that she will be the only one left to remember. But the stranger says he won't forget either. They embrace each other and have f In the next scene, B tells Daisy to stop wearing her mask and let Evie guide their memories, just like her mother did. Evie takes her mother's place as she performs the ritual in her place and vows to keep doing her work. It's soon revealed that Gabe started wandering outside without a mask, completely oblivious to his surroundings, the same as Bee, who has been carrying her baby for a few months now. In the final scene of the movie, Gabe is digging in the ground when he uncovers two skeletons with the necklaces of Bee and Evie. It is revealed that the mother was keeping the names and necklaces of the people who lived before as new ones took their place and identity. Meanwhile, the stranger is on duty and looking over Gabe when he notices a trespasser approaching. He takes out his rifle to shoot but changes his mind at the last second and shoots Gabe instead to make room for the new arrival. The moral of the story is to not believe everything you see. The truth might be very different from what you are seeing right now and you should have the courage to accept reality whenever it hits you. And that's it for this movie recap. If you were Evie, would you reproduce with fake Luca to keep the bloodline going? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll like this one even more. Click now to watch.